everybody and welcome back to my channel. I hope that you're doing well. So today's video is going to be a little spring Zara haul. I feel like we are slowly transitioning and I was having a little peruse on Zara and they had so many nice pieces so I thought I would do a little order and show you guys what I have picked up. Before we get into it, please give this video a like and subscribe to my channel so that you never miss a thing from me and with that being said, let's get into the video. Okay, so with this haul, I've kind of ventured a little bit out of my comfort zone. I tend to stick to more like neutral and really simple pieces but within this and there's like so many pieces on Zara right now that are a bit more like summery and exciting still very much true to my own personal style and that most of them are pretty neutral but they've just like maybe got a bit more print a bit more summer summer bit more summer vibes you know so the first thing is this mini skirt I know I've said a lot in previous videos about how maxi skirts are really having their moment right now but you still can't go wrong with a classic mini and I really like the tie waist detail of this one is it or is it not giving like summer holiday vibes like I can picture myself wearing this with like an oversized white t-shirt or a black t-shirt like a black vest top and a blazer I love the little fringe detailing as well I think it's so nice this is just giving like super summer holiday vibes with some sandals I have some Primark sandals that I got last year maybe I got them like the year before they're really old but I literally bring them out every single year because they're like they tie up the leg and they're so flattering and they're like a small but chunky heel so they just look good with everything and they're really comfortable and I can just picture my myself wearing those with this yeah a little bit out of my comfort zone that it is like a bold print but again we stay true to myself because it is a neutral and and can be really easily worn and incorporated with the rest of my wardrobe as well i find in my wardrobe that i don't really have a lot of like nice stuff if that makes sense, like going out, drinks with the girls, like drink events. I have a lot of like really casual wear. I have a lot more smarter tailored wear. I just don't really have much that's like getting dressed up, going out, but not being too glam. So I picked up a couple of tops that I feel like are jeans and a nice top vibe. And the first one is this satin halter neck, which isn't going to look like much when I hold it up here. But obviously I'll show you in the cutaway what it looks like on. I love the colour. I feel like these kind of tones always just look really premium and really expensive. And they look great with like a really nice tanned shimmery shoulder with some little bit of highlight I think it's really nice and I love the like open low back as well I feel like that's such a little sexy touch the high neck as well keeps it really sophisticated in the front and then you get a little bit of skin in the back which I think is so nice and again you could pair this so easily with like a pair of jeans and heels and have this as like a nice little spring brunch look you could also pair it with like tailored shorts and go for something a bit more like open maybe with a knee-high boot kind of like the fact this is one of those tops that you like put on not really put any effort into your outfit at all but you you look like super premium super chic super expensive you know that kind of vibe and the other top I picked up I, I was actually debating between this one and a black one that was like a strappy frilly top I love these kind of like thrill details it's giving like that if you watched my trend video for the beginning of the year I said about how mermaid core is gonna be making like a huge wave pardon the pun across the stores and I feel like all of this ruffle detailing is tying into that really well because it's kind of giving like jellyfish seaweed it's giving like mermaid core vibes if you know what I mean and I like the sheer detailing again we're gonna be seeing lots of sheer throughout the year and I think this maybe paired with like a little bralette underneath would be really cute again I love the really high neck detail as well you could obviously leave a few buttons undone if you wanted a bit more exposure on the chest but I think the fact that it's sheer kind of lends itself to like being a little bit more risque anyway pair it with the jeans you could even like if you wore a little vest underneath you could wear this for work or you could really dress it up and go for something a bit more glam this is giving very much like jeans and a nice top vibe this is definitely very cute very girly very feminine with the sheer panel as well i think it's really nice okay then i actually picked up two dresses and the first one is very much leaning into my current obsession with daisy jones and the six if you haven't watched it please for the love of god go over to amazon prime and watch it because it is such a good series and all of the music is so catchy it's set in the 70s all of the style all the aesthetic is all very 70s and i am obsessed i feel like it's kind of a bit of a bit of a surprise trend because it wasn't really like accounted for back at the beginning of the year when like all of the you know, the magazines were kind of releasing their like trend reports there wasn't really much talk about the 70s but i think thanks to daisy jones and the six there is a little resurgence you're seeing things pop up here and there you know we've got the return of the cowboy boots we've got these kind of dresses that i'm about to show you 
This is just a plain white long sleeve dress with a little bit of like frill detail. Again, it's not gonna look like much me holding it up. So obviously I'm gonna show you in a cutaway how I would style it and like what the actual vibe of this looks like on. I really love like the embroidery. Like it's still staying very true to like my personal style in that it's neutral and I feel like it's fairly simple, but the detailing on this just is so nice. Like obviously you've got the drawstring waist to give you a bit more shape and it's just lovely and flowy. And it's just, is it just not giving spring vibes? It's giving spring vibes, it's giving days Jones and the six, it's giving 70s with like big glasses. And then I actually bought something to wear over the top of this. Again, it's very different for me, but it's, it's tying into the whole Daisy Jones and the Six thing. It's this crochet kind of vest in these very, very 70s tones with the orange and the red. I was thinking of layering this over this dress and then maybe my cowboy boots. I'm not 100% sure if I'll keep this just because not really my normal cup of tea. I do really like the vibe of wearing this like over this or wearing it on its own with a pair of denim and kind of still having that like 70s vibe. We're definitely gonna be seeing a lot of like festival wear popping up because obviously Coachella starts very soon. I really, really, like this this is so pretty and again I think whether I was saying this in my last video or not but I'm really enjoying like dresses and being really like feminine and girly and really tapping into that because obviously I wear throughout the winter like a lot of jeans a lot of baggy things a lot of tailoring and it's very like masculine and heavy almost especially in winter when it gets to spring I feel like I'm just cracking off the shell and we're going back to being like super feminine pretty skirts dresses floaty delicate dainty feminine that's the vibe that I really like to lean into and kind of on a similar round but like a different style of feminine. I have another dress and this is like a denim corset dress. I think it's like a black denim yeah. and it is a midi length so very very figure hugging very form fitting and I feel like this is feminine like in that opposite way instead of it being cutesy and girly and floaty it's very much like this is your figure this is a woman you know that's the vibe I was thinking and also obviously we're seeing a ton of denim right now everyone is selling a million one different denim pieces and I personally am loving this whole like head to toe denim situation that's happening I feel like this is a really great way to tap into the trend by wearing like a dress that's made of denim because it kind of gives the illusion of a head to toe denim look even though you're only sporting one piece of denim literally wear it on its own wear a little blazer over the top yeah I just feel like it's one of those pieces I feel like you could get a lot of use out of this dressed up dressed down yeah a bit of a curveball for me but I love it I haven't actually tried any of these on yet so when you see in the cutaway that That'll be the first time I've tried them. Okay, then we've got one more thing. One more thing. The last thing I got was this green blazer. I love this tone of green. I have a bag from Katie Loxton from this season and I'm obsessed with it. I need to get it out more, but it's definitely very much spring vibes. And when I see stuff like this, I'm just like, this, this is spring. And also I had a blow dry with Living Proof a couple of weeks back and the girl who was in after me, she had a green blazer on and I was like, oh my God, I love your blazer. And I was like, you know what? I need to get a green one. And I do actually have one from Amazon from last year. I wanted something a bit more boxy. That one's very like, I wanted something a bit more oversized, a bit more masculine. So I'm hoping this is gonna be a bit more masculine, a bit more oversized, a bit more structured as well. It's got quite a lot of padding in the shoulders, which I personally love. I've got this in a medium as well. So hopefully this should be like oversized enough and hopefully not too oversized that it like drowns me. But yeah, I'm just thinking this with a plain white t-shirt, my light blue Levi 501 Boston clogs or even a black and stock sandal and like a big basket bag if I haven't already said that. But yeah, I just love this. And yeah, that is literally everything. Let me know if there's any pieces in here that you like. Of course, I will link everything in the description as I always do. And yeah, subscribe to my channel so that you never miss a thing from me and I will see you in my next one.